Hey there, YouTube. This is Michael with Michael Mays Leatherworking, and I wanted to share with you guys a, a neat little trick that I read in an Al Stoneman book. Now, when I was building this sheath here, um, it's all, you know, it's, it's a fold-over sheath, but I ended up using two rivets here on the uh, belt keeper. You know, there's a bottom one here and a top one here on the inside. So, of course, this one was placed first. It was very easy to do, you know, because the leather is still standing out this way. Um, so I was able to stick the ed edge of my anvil in there, set it, no problems. But with this one, you know, I don't like to set these until after I have my wet molding completed. Because if I put that hole in the leather initially, the, the process of wet forming the leather, you know, and molding it to shape may actually change the position of that hole to where it's not going to be centered any longer. So what I wanted to do was get that put in after the fact. But if you look at the throat of this, you know, that's just not big enough for me to get my fingers in there and get all the way down here to set that rivet. And I don't have a pair of needle nose pliers that are long enough to actually get down there. I just have this little bitty mini jeweler's pair um, and it, it won't reach. So I remember reading back in one of Al Stolman's leatherworking books um, about this trick, so I decided to uh, try it and see how well it worked out. So basically what you do is just take yourself a scrap piece of leather, like what you see here. Okay. And then I used a 764 uh, hole punch, and I punched a hole right there, and then cut a small V-notch out here that comes out towards the end. Now what that allows you to do is take a rivet now, this is just a quick rivet but this will work for double cap rivets also um, but you take that slide it through the hole that you've punched well if you've punched that hole tight enough as you can see you know it, it's holding on to that rivet no problem so then you just hold on to the end of your scrap piece here I took it slid it into the throat and then you know held these these pieces lined up here with my finger and then using this I was able to feed it in and up through the hole so I have another scrap piece here you can see I have another hole here um, about the same size so imagine this is coming up you know right here I put that in through the throat found it popped it up like that now with it down on my table as you can see here let me, uh, zoom in for you and get it in frame a little bit better and you can see that's now coming up through the end of the leather so where you have that v-notch you can then just take the piece of your your scrap and pull and it'll let right go of that rivet and as you can see it's right here right where we wanted it to be so then you know I can take my cap put it on there and I've now got my rivet placed in a hard to reach spot that I couldn't get to by just using my fingers Well, guys, I hope that little uh, tip there might help you guys in one of your future projects. Um, if you did find this information useful, I would ask that you please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you'd like to. I'm definitely trying to get some more views and get this channel growing. Um, and, uh, you know, as always, we thank you for watching. And uh, be on the lookout for some more leatherworking videos to come. Thanks, guys.